Oh my gosh! First of all, thank you so much for for gracing our show, for giving us this time. I know that your schedule is super hectic. and dami yung ginagawa. Um, what do you have after this? Ani yung mga schedule you today? We have rehearsals na. What? And, yay! Um, and blue ko lang ha. Nasa harap tayo ngayon nagulat din ako. <laughs> Ano to? Hindi nga ako dancer, pero ginalingan ko talaga para malang... <laughs> oh my God! I am, I am so excited. I think I'm gonna save all my boys like nung Miss Universe Philippines na ubus ang boys ko dito kahit todo-todo na ubus na ubus na talaga. Dahil nasa harap ka pala. I'm so proud of you, Langga. <laughs> Kasi dinagyang, of course, in Iloilo, di ba? Every year, I'm sure you're you're there and and celebrating the festivity. So, yung sayawan, bida-bida, hindi na bago sa'yo yun. Maraming salamat, Emily. <laughs> so, <laughs> natago kasi ako dati during presentation. Sa likod ako palagi nilalagay kasi matangkad ako ang step ko. Pero ngayon, Emily, pag yung mo talaga into the competition, gusto mo talaga mag-excel. Sabi ko, walang imposible na. <laughs> pa yung kakanta for us. Piling ko nga dapat ilagay ko yun sa bio ko. <laughs> for the first for the first time, I am dancing in front of the pack. <laughs> diba? I think that's one for the books. Why not, right? And in the biggest competition of your life pa, nako, that's a big deal talaga pag napili kang year. Kasi I remember during my time, pa, pinapasayaw lahat eh, and then in-observe nila kung sino yung mga talagang, okay, eto quality, ilagay sa harap para hindi mahirap turuan ng, ng sayaw. And I'm so proud that you really caught the attention of the, of the, ano, instructor, yung mga nagtuturo ng dance prod natin. But first of all, I know that, is this your first trip abroad or just in the United States? This is my first trip outside of the country. Oh, it was crazy. Oh Can you imagine? So how was it? How was, how was the first week in, in in the states and dealing with jet lag it was hard akala ko kasi mm-hmm. jet lag parang itulog mo lang mawawala na siya pero hindi talaga it's gonna mess up your circadian rhythm how you sleep and you wake so i remember me day ako na 24 hours wala talaga tulog and um yung isa pa ito talaga nakakatawa Andre, because the moment na lumapag yung aeroplano, akala ko it's still afternoon kasi tirik pa yung araw. Eh, di ba alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, pag around 6 p.m. wala nang araw dito, 8, meron pa din. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. Parang mahaba yung gabi nila kaysa umaga. Actually, I was just with Shams yesterday and hindi naglalakad-lakad kami, hindi namin napansin na 8 p.m. na pala dahil may araw pa. So, akala, akala namin sa sunset pa lang 6 p.m. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, isa yun sa mga, I think, isa yun sa mga challenges ng mga candidates who's traveling across the globe, di ba? Yes. Oo, dealing with, of course, dealing with the time zone. How to keep yourself um, fresh and at the moment, syempre, pag antok yung katawan mo, kasi night time yan sa, yung body clock mo, night time, di ba? Paano ka, how to be present, yung presence of mind, very important sa competition. Oo, oo. Tsaka thankful ako na at least a month before my competition, I'm already here. I can't mm. believe how hard it is for the other girls that they arrive like the day during the orientation. So, good thing talaga na at least nandito na tayo at nakapag-adjust. Oh, we're, we're, we are so proud of you and all of your sacrifices. I know that it's hard. This is your second big competition na wala yung family mo. Um, kumusta naman sila? Uh, kasi matagal-tagal ka na rin na hindi mo sila kasama and they're not going to be 
gonna make it right in yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. So, nung Miss Universe Philippines, hindi rin sila nakapanood dahil wala tayong audience. And then, they're not going to be here. So, uh, paano nila na ipapakita yung support nila sa'yo? And yeah. how's the communication? Yung mom ko kasi, MJ, what she did is that before I fly to the US, she went to Manila. But I need to isolate myself. And it was very, parang critical moments na yun eh. I really need to to make sure na I'm negative. So, mm-hmm. post lang na, yun nga, nasasakyan siya. And I was outside. It was the last day. I oh. I bye mama. Like, I can't even hug her. Hug her. It, it was so emotional. Oh. Pero yung mama ko kasi, palaban talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Alam, ilong. Kasi sabi niyo mama, like, go lang, anak, bring home the ground. I'm proud of you. Tapos, isigawan lang kami kasi malayo kami. Eh. Oh my gosh. Alam mo, yung mom ko kasi, she's very supportive. In a way na kahit hindi niya man sinasabi, hindi niya pinapakita. From time to time, magmimake siya ng joke sa akin. Uh, <laughs> like what? Sample? Like for example, ganito. May moment kasi na parang um, minimessage niya ako, tapos ako tawa lang ako ng tawa. Tapos sabi niya, anak, alam mo bang may kasabihan? Sabi ko, ano bang kasabihan niya? <laughs> At babain palaging tumatawa, gusto nang mag-asawa. Hindi ba pwedeng ang babaeng laging tumatawa gustong manalo ng corona? <laughs> Tama ba? O, sagot-sagot. So, sa mga naniniwala, ako naniniwala, ako na lagi kang tumatawa, manalo ka ng corona. At, i- at iuwi mo yan sa Pilipinas dahil nag-aabang kaming lahat. Maraming <laughs> salamat. And alam niyo ba guys, sa, sa mga viewers natin, hello, hello sa inyo, magandang umaga from Florida. Si Miss MJ, para ko talaga siyang mom. Pero, promise, parang never kasi kami nagkita. Pero during the competition, totoo talaga to, I was just looking at her. Kasi siya parang, go Iloilo City, nakakalakas ng loob. Para siya yes. yung anak ng <laughs> Alam mo, you're not hard to love. The first time that I judged you, I wasn't even aware. I, I know that there's Miss Iloilo. But then when I saw you competing sa preliminaries where I was one of the judges, you can easily capture hearts without even trying so hard. Because I I think you exudes the determination and just that fire within you. Talagang, it was love at first sight. Na sabi ko, Iloilo City is a dark horse and she's gonna make it. And you didn't fail. During the, the pageant night, you delivered, you delivered well. Kaya, I, I feel like you deserve that cheering. Um, whole heart, I whole heart, I was wholeheartedly heartedly cheering for you, not only because we are both Ilonga, but because I know that you deserve it. Hello! Who's there? Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines! <laughs> I love it, di ba? Very, ano, very candid lang tayo. Nakikita yeah. natin ko every night dyan sa likod. <laughs> Kumakain na sila. <laughs> so, an- alam mo, ikaw, um, yung experience mo with passion, talagang kakaiba to compared to our experiences, di ba? How is it being the new normal beauty queen? It was hard. Yung uh-huh. pinaka-challenging part is the training aspect. Because you really need to be motivated. Can you imagine mm-hmm. doing things virtually? Yes. Like doing everything. Because if you don't have the motivation, means that your your mindset mo na wawala into the competition. Yes. So that's why you always have to be So that's why it's very helpful if you meditate. I mm-hmm. do that every morning. Like, mm-hmm. what do I want to ask the universe? What do I want to achieve? And yun kasi um the good thing is dito talaga if you can. See every table, tatlo lang pwede kumupo. I, I can be with everybody at the same time. I need to yes. still protect myself kasi isa sa protocol, if ever you turned out to be positive, you're Mm-mm. out of the competition. And ayaw naman nating mangyari yun. So, oh, oh. it's all about trying to balance, enjoying the moment, talking with yes. people, but also protecting yourself. Napakahirap na lang yan. So aside from the from the preparations for the competition, you still have this uh, uh at the back of your head na you still have to be safe, de ba? Kahit na sa lahat ng ginagawa mo, yung parang you, you have this um conscious uh action na 
oh, I still have to distance myself kasi malayo pa yung pageant night. And I, and that's the main goal. Yes. To be there, to make it to the top 15, top 5, and eventually win it for the Philippines. Aww. Right? <laughs> at, nandito yeah. kami, at nandito kami lahat para sa'yo dahil hala rabia. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, I know. I know that. 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 I know Um, you've been there for how many days already? Um, can you share what's the the best moment so far for you? Siguro ito talaga. This was something that I will never forget because we have a shoot for a movie, right? So, MJ, can you imagine from one sponsor shoot to another? During the day, I had three. Mm-hmm. Parang okay, isang oras iba yung ayos ko. But no, next kasi sa muba, like it was so parang pang so the makeup was dark, my hair was stiff, uh-huh. on and everything. And then my sponsorship pa ako ulit. Uh-huh. Wow. But I was panicking. You're... Sabi ko na, na, sabi ko, anong gagawin ko sa hair ko? I, I don't have any time. Ganito, I was rushing. Then right. I, parang, y- yung ginawa na lang, pinanindigan ko na lang yung hair ko, but it was for a casual look. And then after that, I still have another shoot. Wow. Dito talaga pwede kasi it's for a clothing brand. So doon ako sa CR, doon ako nag- Oh! Oh my gosh! Wala. So yung hairstylist are are not there to help you with... Kasi maraming girls din yung inaayusan. So meaning, mm-hmm. kailangan mo din, parang kailangan mo din magkaroon ng initiative na okay, ako na, ako na muna to. And mm-hmm. then all of the girls, I remember Miss India, sino pa ba yung nagkaroon, tinutulungan talaga nila ako because my hair was so stiff. So after nun, ah, oh, they- and then during the shoot parang may moment na nandun kami sa pool and then she, sabi ng photographer can you can you like step several um, steps backward kasi hindi ko nakita may stairs tutuloy ko rin ako sa baba oh my gosh <laughs> pero oh. kasi na mababaw siya pero hindi ko kasi na-realize na mababaw siya kasi pagtapos parang bigla ko gumano yung instant ko was to save my makeup so gumano oh. <laughs> Kaya pala your your photos in the pool. Hindi naman basa yung upper hair mo and your makeup. So yung instinct mo talaga is I have to save this yeah. this upper. Hindi ko basa magdak to zero. Ang dami na talaga yung pagdaan ng during that day. Like bilang shoots, may kailangan mo pang magayos ulit para sa sa dinner. So sabi ko masarap sa feeling na di ba in demand kana hinahanap ka yes ka very in demand kapag <laughs> sarap sa video pero also yung harag moment pero feeling ko isa din yun sa mami miss ko once tapos na to yung parang where's the yes. Philippines you have another yes. shoot come here come here <laughs> kakain ka MJ kakain ka mga five to ten minutes lang so lahat yun kira <laughs> oh my goodness um pero alam mo uh, sa mga nakikita ko sa lahat ng videos and photos and updates of you in the competition, I can't even tell na may ngarag moments ka. You're handling all of this like a pro. <laughs> uh, okay, but if you only know what's running through my head during that moment, like... Pero, I, yung picture mo sa, sa pool trending yun, di ba? You look so happy and you just embrace the moment. <laughs> everybody was like cheering for me during that time because I said, So, nabasa ko yung jacket. Oh my goodness! <laughs> But, uh, yun nga, eh, sometimes you, you just need to smile and um, find the humor in the most... Yes! So, at find, least, nagpamit ko din siya. <laughs> find the good in every situation, di ba? And you just laugh, laugh it off, and wala, it's one of the experiences. Kaya, actually, may nagtanong sa akin nun, I wasn't even aware that of what happened. Sabi nila, anong masasabi mo si Ms. Rabia nahulog sa pool? So, nagulat ako, ha? Bakit nahulog 
Tapos sa pulang lang ga ako ano nangyari. Pero di ba normally na I would ask you what happened. Yes. Hindi na ako nagtanong, nagantay na lang ako makita ko sa social media and ayun nga, pinost mo. So, doon ko nalaman ko ano yung nangyari. But you handled it very well, very graciously. And sinabi ko na lang, well, it's a Miriam Kimbao moment. <laughs> <laughs> you stand back up, right? <laughs> Oh, stand back up and stronger, yeah. So, maraming maraming salamat again sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. 8:30 PM sa Philippines dinner time. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa mga gifter. Ang dami daming nag-download ng Kumu just to watch you because they're so excited to hear any updates, any news from you. Of course, syempre mga nakikita natin lagi-lagi kang nakamas, 'di ba, walking sa yeah. <laughs> sa lobby kasi normally may medyo may engagement yung fans with the candidates but I know that this time uh, medyo limited talaga yung yung engagements ng actually ng candidates sa sa fans pero how was it um every time you go out of the hotel and then yung andami Filipinos even Thai fans even fans of other countries Latino fans are cheering for you calling your name and yun nga kumakalat sa social media how does how does it make you feel To be honest, when I came here, I didn't expect this kind of support from mm-hmm. everyone. And mm-hmm. sometimes it really feels good when people would call you by your first name. Like they know me, ako yun. Like hindi lang si Miss Philippines, like Rabia. So ako yun. That's me. So parang na nakakatuwa. Kaya sabi ko nga, panila talaga yung pandemic. If I can only go to them and you know say thank you to them, kasi grabe kung ano din yung yung Um, aga ng gising namin, ganun din yung aga ng gising nila. Kung ano late ng umina, kahit talaga nila kami. Para lang makita, kahit hindi nga sila makapapicture, para lang kahit mabidyohan ka lang. So, mm-hmm. sobrang nakakataba ng talaga yung mga Oo. Oh, oh. oh, actually, I wanted to ask you, how did the Filipino community welcome you? Nung, kasi nga, dumating ka a month prior to the competition. So, how was that for you? MJ, everything was so easy for me. I didn't even experience being homesick. Because mm-hmm. the moment that I arrived in the airport, everybody was like welcoming me. Everybody was like asking, what do you need? Um, mm-hmm. Ano ba yung matutulong namin sa'yo? And mm-hmm. then, lahat, lahat talaga, lahat like, tumapang kulot ko, yung mga makeup na kailangan ko, yung mga Filipino community, si Mama Hides, yes. si Papa Yes. Right. Ang dami, sobrang dami si Miss Kirsten kasi may moments na kailangan ko ng ganitong damit, wala akong mapanghubutan. Yung mga Pinoy yung naghahanap ng paraan para mm-hmm. makasipan sa akin. So, 